conjugate verbs? How do I make sure my adjectives work? How do I make sure that I can talk about things that happened in the past or will be happening in the future? How do I make sure that people around me actually speak German? How can I make sure that everyone can understand me? How do I make sure my accent is fine? How do I accept the culture of German people? How do I avoid offense? How do I make sure that everyone knows that I'm truly a German master? In our 20 episode mini-series, German and You, we'll be answering this question, and we'll answer all the other ones too. Here we are, the classroom of learning. Let's get started, shall we? Whoa! Regular verbs. What are regular verbs? I'm glad you asked. Verbs are action words. In a sentence, the verb describes something that the subject of a sentence does. Every sentence must have a verb in it. Regular verbs use the same verb stem throughout all the conjugations, such as spielen. It can be conjugated as spiele, spielst, spielt, or spielen. In all the cases, the stem of spiel was used. This stem serves as the meaning of the word, while the conjugation states how many or who the verb is affected. Take a look at these examples. Can you find the use of a verb in this sentence? That's right. The verb of the sentence in the German language always comes second, unless the sentence is phrased as a yes or no question, in which case it'll come first. You see, verb conjugation is an essential part of communication. The conjugation of verbs help the listener understand who or how many subjects in the sentence are being affected by the verb. It would be illogical to say, Ich haben Pizza. This would imply that you are either referring to yourself as multiple people or just plain stupid. Now let's see how verbs are conjugated when they are used in the present tense. So today we're going to learn about the present tense. First, let's look at a fun example. What word belongs in this blank? I don't know. Conjugating for present tense is simple. One only needs worry about matching your verb endings to whomever is being acted upon by the verb. In the earlier example, der Student blank 50 Brautwurst. Just add T to the end of the verb stem since it is third person. Capital. Also of note, the present tense can be used to refer to events happening in the future as well, or events that repeat regularly. In the sentence, ich trinke Wasser. If the person is not currently drinking water it is inferred they soon will be or do regularly. I think I get it, but, but, but what about the past? People have often wondered, does the past really exist? Yes, of course it does! That's a stupid question! You're stupid! As you may know, there are two past tenses in German. The perfect tense is the tense that you use in most real-life situations and conversations. That's why it's called the conversational past. When you, go, when you change a sentence to the perfect tense, you have to change the sentence. You have to insert a helping verb in the second position, remove it to the original verb, the end, and also change it to the past participle. For regular verbs, it's easy. You add GE at the beginning and change the end. That's all you have to do. Most of the time, the helping verb is just haben. You conjugate it the same way you will always conjugate haben. You know, ich habe gesagt, du hast gesagt, that sort of thing. If the verb is showing a change of state or location, however, the helping verb is sein. So, you know, ich bin geflogen, du bist geflogen. In the perfect tense, the verb that becomes the past participle is always going to be the same. So if your verb is sagen, it doesn't matter who is doing the sagen, you're always going to use gesagt. So like, I guess you would say, uh, like, ich habe den König getötet? Yes, exactly. Perfect. Du bist du. Also, one last thing. You don't really need the perfect tense for moodle verbs. You know, sollen, werden, mögen, wollen, müssen, dürfen, können. 
also for Sein and Würden. For those, it's just normal to use the imperfect tense, although all those are kind of irregular, but that's a lesson for another day. But what if there were an easier way? So, you wanted to know if there's an easier way. There is, but I'm very disappointed in you. But what is it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Imperfect, also known as simple past tense, is a much simpler way to put something in the past tense, although it's considered more formal. It's more commonly found in writing than in speech, but it's very simple. Are you ready? Good. All you have to do, as long as the verb is a regular verb, is add T to the end of the stem before you conjugate it. Well, if you're using the singular third person, then you conjugate it with an E rather than a T. And don't forget, the rule about stems that end in T sounds applies here, so you always add an E before an ST or a T. Got that? Well, let's look at some examples. It's quite simple. For froggen, or frogten, you would conjugate it as so. Ich fragte. Du fragtest. Er fragte. Wir fragten. Ihr fragtet. Sie fragten. Now, try and use it. Earlier, you asked me a question. Or, in German, Du fragtest mich eine Frage. You would say, Uh, ich fragte dich eine Frage? Good. Fine. Now, how would you say I answered? Du antwortest? Is that, have that many syllables? Of course it should. Why shouldn't it? I think I got it, but what about the future? So you know what to say if something is happening, and you know what to say if something has already happened, but what if it hasn't happened yet? That is when you use the future. I'm glad you asked. The future tense is easy. One verb you need to know is verden. Like most verbs, there are five different conjugations of the word verden. These conjugations are Ich werde, Du wirst, SES wird, Wir werden, Ihr werdet, und Sie werden. Werden will always take the place of the present verb, and the present verb will be moved to the end of the sentence. For example, the future tense of Ich gehe ins Kino is Ich werde ins Kino gehen. See how Werden took the second place of the sentence and the original verb moved to the end. With future tense, you don't always have to use the verb Werden. Instead, you can say when something is happening in the sentence. For example, you could say Ich esse Abendessen am Abend which means I eat dinner in the evening, or I will eat dinner in the evening. This means the same as Ich werde Abendessen am Abend. The use of future tense without using Verden depends on the context of the sentence. And that, Kinder, is future tense. Well, that's all for now. Make sure to check out Volume 2, where we'll talk about the appropriate uses of German and where to use them. All right, auf Wiedersehen. Take all of